Hi friends, welcome or welcome back. Today we're going to head to the internet to get some much needed inspiration from Pottery Barn in Magnolia. And then we're going to head to the thrift stores to see what we can find that's a great dupe or to DIY for a whole lot less. So without further ado, let's get started. As we're heading into fall, here in Florida, that's when we really start to use our outdoor spaces as it cools down. So I began to look for inspiration for some outdoor lighting. I loved these Pottery Barn woven lanterns, but the price was just a little bit more than I was wanting to spend. So I was really thrilled to find this PVC lantern at Goodwill for $9.99. The LED candle inside was really damaged and not working, so I brought it home and removed that with a hammer and pliers and then just took some crud cutter and these are the best kind, you just spray down, wipe and clean. So what that left was just the area at the bottom for me to try to figure out how to get that stabilized. Initially I thought I could use this round wooden ornament disc that I'd gotten last Christmas from Dollar Tree so I filled that wood hole in and I spray painted it black but after considering that this would be outside and in the elements I didn't know how that wood would hold up so I wanted to think of something a little bit different that was more user-friendly for all weather conditions so I pulled out an old candle lid from a Bath & Body candle that was solid marble and you can see here I've used the candle and the lid I just saved and lo and behold it fit perfectly in the bottom so that gave me a little bit of contrast and an element that would really withstand being outside. So I used E600 on the interior of the lantern, just added a little bit of that, and then I just placed this reused candle topper in the bottom of the lantern, and it fit perfectly. What I really loved about not having an attached candle in this is I can add a glass citronella inside of this, or as I've done here, insert a battery operated LED. I feel like it just gives me more flexibility with the lantern itself. Also, as we head into fall, I'm thinking more about entertaining. And I love all of the beautiful cut and etched glass that Pottery Barn has been showing in their new fall collection. But some of these glasses can be $80 for a set of four. At one of my favorite thrifting spots, I found this pair of really heavy, unique Waterford cut crystal glasses for $2. I've been trying to add to my collection of wine glasses by integrating pairs of different ones. I think it just adds interest and I really enjoy it. Also at this same store, someone had donated an entire barware collection. It was all vintage and very unique and very affordably priced. I decided to pick up two of the most unique decanters that I thought they had there. These were really heavy glass and I loved both of them. But what was really great was each one was only $5.99. The two that I chose were both etched and one was etched and had cut glass on it. This particular one had a flower motif as did this second taller one, but it also had some beautiful deep cut etching on it. Both of them were very, very unique, and I'm really excited to add them to my barware collection. Everything in this vignette was thrifted except for the marble tray, and I think we got that exquisite Pottery Barn look for a whole lot less. Another item that I've really been loving are these cute little stools. They're like a vintage distressed stool that you can place a variety of objects on or simply place at the end of a sofa for a coffee cup, but they can be anywhere from $200 to $600. 
So when I walked out into my garage and I saw this old bar stool that's been sitting out there, I wondered if we couldn't turn it into something close to that. I had my husband cut off the legs and we left it at about 18 inches in height, but that's totally up to your discretion. I then took out my sander and removed that old orange looking finish with some 80 grit sandpaper and I really loved the look and the color underneath. So I just added some wax to it and left it as is. And I think we got that Pottery Barn Magnolia Vintage Stool look for free. With that same thought of entertaining, I stumbled across this Marble Lazy Susan for $9.99. I snatched it up because the versatility of these is incredible. This was super easy. I brought it home, took a magic eraser to it, it cleaned up perfectly, and we got that high-end look for a whole lot less. Currently, this is displayed next to my stove, but I've also had it in the center of my table with salt and pepper, napkins, and coasters. And remember, it's solid marble. It can be chilled, and you could add a charcuterie board directly to it. The versatility and options are endless. Heading out to Target to take a look at the Magnolia collection, I really loved this brass tissue holder. But we can always find tissue holders at the thrift store, and that's exactly what happened. Granted, it's not exactly like the one that I seen in the Magnolia line, but it did have some great detailing and interest to it, and it was only $5.99. Again, super easy, cleaned it up, and we're good to go. So that's a wrap for today, all of our thrifting goodness. And remember, stay on the journey as we continue making our way home. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.